It's Gator, not cause of a rattler gator. Plus one on the switch with that dragon dance. Like Salamance, you know, you don't stand a chance. Out raging all over you, just like Lance. Hey guys, it's Gator, and excuse me if I sound a little mucusy, I'm kinda sick. We are on the PO replay thingy, cause I have a replay. And first of all, I want to tell you guys that, uh, there's gonna, probably what's gonna happen is I won't be uploading that much in the next month or something, because uh, my grandma just came to visit me in Japan, and um, I'm going to be spending time with her, you know, um, school's an, an ending soon, I have to do some things for the university I am attending, the college or whatever, so I'm probably going to be really busy uh, for the next month or so, so I'm sorry if I don't upload that much, but there's been times on this channel where I just don't upload for a long period of time anyway. And also, um, I, I'm about to hit 700 subscribers. I don't think I've said thank you for any, you know, like, uh, hit marker is not the right word. That is not the right word I'm looking for. Um, you know what I'm talking about. Any, I don't know the word, dude. Um, the thing you were, you like, 500 hit on this day. And thank you guys so much. And here's a video for you. Got a video for you. I don't know what that's called, but whatever that is called, I can't think of it right now. I've not done those, any of those, and I just don't know what to do for those. But um, I still am very grateful for everyone who watches my videos. I love doing this, and um, without you guys supporting me and all that, then I probably would not be having as much fun as I was having uploading. Even even when I had like no one watching my videos. I was still very uh, into doing this. It was really fun. Anyways, let's just go and stop. Kissy kissy. Gooby gooby. <laughs> I'm sorry. Gooby please. So, basically what I was doing is um, I wanted to show you the staying power of a certain Pokemon. So, I just made a team with one Pokemon and I got some battles, and I actually won about like 40% of these battles because either A, they didn't run a steel type, or B, various other reasons, including um, bad Pokemon, like good bad teams, not I'm saying not bad Pokemon, like bad team synergy things going and nothing to really handle this threat. And you're probably thinking, okay, it's probably a big threat. It's a big threat. It's not the biggest of threats at first. It looks uh pretty weak, but uh, it's it's pretty pretty big threat. As you see here, we have Dragonite, and this is my only Pokemon. This is the sub Dragon Dance Roost Dragonite, and he doesn't know how to switch his lead because he he saw in Team Preview that's my only Pokemon, and he had a Heatran with Dragon Pulse. I'm gonna go ahead and get it started. I decided to leave with Volcarona because I know he does not know how to switch leads. Why does that thing have zero percent health? Really, why does it? Why does this Bronze not have zero percent health? Okay, his Bronze has a hundred percent health, but um. Fire Blast misses, but I still have my plus one everything, and Fire Blast kills it. That was weird. Okay. What the fuck? What the fuck? Things are just dying all over the place. Why the hell is everything already at 0%? Man. This game knows that B... That Rotom Factor just got shit on, and he can't do shit about it. They already know. They already know just to put all the Pokemon at 0% health. Because the Rotom Factor is a scrub who doesn't know how to switch leads. And of course, Rotom C, his last Pokemon, dies. Rotom is not a factor in this battle. And I know I said it was close. And that's because Oak Rotom was my only Pokemon on my team. So it was a 1-0 victory for me. He could have at least attempted to switch his lead. Instead of bringing in... <laughs> instead of bringing in this and setting up Stealth Rock. That, that was the best part. That he set up Stealth Rock and that was my only Pokemon. That just made my day. Alright, we got some sandstorm going on. We got some uh, stealth rocks coming up on the field. Alright, alright. What the fuck? Rotom Factor goes for two stealth rocks. Trying to get two layers of stealth rocks on the field. <laughs> oh, he's gonna get, he's gonna get destroyed. And then, all he's gonna do now, he doesn't have Gyro Ball because he has Thunder Wave. I really do not recommend running Thunder Wave on Ferrothorn. Because you need the attacking moves. Ferrothorn has very viable attack. You can't just be using Thunder Wave. And Gyro Ball is a very good move against dragons. 
Um, so I'm just gonna get plus six, and he's gonna let me because he doesn't have gyro ball. And I'm just gonna sit here buying a substitute and spam a dragon dance until I get plus six. And uh, he has three steel types, and I still managed to get through them as you'll see later on. So I don't even know what I'm at right now. What is it? Plus plus six already? Because I went for an attack, it must be plus six. And look, it it three hit KOs. So you will see me play around with substitute and roost. And in a lot of other battles, I was able to stall out the PP of certain moves. There's one, no, there's a couple. One, there's a Politoed, and one, there was a Glissor. Ice Beam and Ice Fang. No. Yeah, Ice Beam and Ice Fang, respectively. And they both froze me with, like, their last pressure point, power point, whichever one it is. I say pressure because, you know, Zapdos' ability is pressure, and it kind of makes sense. I don't know which one it is, but, um... They both froze me with like their last ice move, and I got really upset over that. But that's what you. But basically, Dragon Knight can stall out any move. Um, I've had cases where I had to stall out Terrakion on Stone Edge after I got a couple Dragon Dances up. It was great, great time. This Pokemon has amazing staying power. I don't know what has more staying power than this. It's like besides like a Wob effect, cause you can't really switch or something like that. That's not the point. So um. He goes for Dragon Pulse. I'm going to go for Roost so I can get my multi skill back and be at as much health as possible once I kill this thing. So that's two Steel types down already. I think his last is Jirachi. And he runs, you'll see. I'm not even going to say. Look, he runs Thunder Wave on Ferrothorn and that. Jirachi. Now, I might understand that if he's using a sub acrobatics Glissor and he wants to get as much hacks as possible. But I still I still don't agree with Thunder Wave. You should definitely run Body Slam. You know, you have a 60% chance of paralyzed. That's good enough compared to what just happened right now. And uh, yeah, Dragon Claw just destroyed that uh, Tyranitar and Dragon Claw. This Glissor lives, and I got scared. I was like, uh oh, what's gonna happen now? If he went for Toxic, I was gonna get get really upset. But he went for Taunt. There's no way you're gonna be faster, and you would not. There's no way you're going to not get to a KO'd by that. And his last Pokemon is Alakazam. And it's just going to die. He has a Sash, but I have multi-skill. And I end up sweeping his whole team with a sub Roost Dragonite. And that's great times. I tell him GG. I respected the fact that he um, actually played it all the way through. A lot of people, if I did win, most of them would just quit in the middle of it. Which isn't really uploadable of just them quitting in the middle of getting swept but thank you savage skeptile for uh, playing it out but in this video we've learned that gator is thankful for all the people who watches his videos you should use team preview to switch your leads rotom factor and do not run thunder wave on jirachi or ferrothorn in my opinion and also do not, do not run away from the inevitable Dragonite sweep like this guy. Respected. He is respected now because he did not run away. Anyways, yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. Make sure to like it, you know, for the Dragonite sweep and all that great stuff. Underestimated threat right there. Very hard to uh, take down once it's the last Pokemon. So I made it my only Pokemon. But uh, yeah, anyways, it's Skater, and I guess I'll see you guys in a while.